Welcome to our series of videos taking a look at the Timeline section in Plotter. And in this video, we're going to take a look at using starter templates in the Timeline. Plotter comes with a number of built-in story templates based on proven story structure. And we can use them as either a starting off point for a new project, or to check our progress if we're stuck in a current one. In another video, we looked at using starter templates to create a new file from the dashboard. But you also have the option to add a starter template to a file you've already created. So let's first start on the dashboard and create a new project from there. So from the dashboard, if you click on Create from Template, it brings up the starter templates on the left-hand side. If you've saved any templates, they'll be located here under the My Templates section. And you can scroll through all the options for starter templates. And if you'd like to see what will be created with each template, simply click on the name of the template. And here you can see there will be four plot lines, 20 scene cards, and 20 beats created. So let's go ahead and select Romancing the Beat by clicking Create New Project. And here we can see everything that was created. Our chapters, which in this case are called beats, our plot lines, and our scene cards. And if you hover over each scene card, you'll see a brief overview of what that scene should entail. And if you click into the details of any of the scene cards, you can either add the information for your scene to the end, or you can overwrite the information and add your story information in place of the starter template. If you already have an existing file and would like to add a starter template to check for any plot holes, you can do that from the timeline. Hover over the plus button to add a new plot line and select the Use Template option. Here you'll see the same option for starter templates. So if you're writing a romantic mystery and want to make sure you hit the correct scenes for both genres, you can select the starter template for the 12 chapter mystery formula and the 12 chapter mystery formula will add an additional two plot lines, 16 scene cards, and 16 chapters. And as you can see, it's added the elements of the 12 chapter mystery formula into your file. And again, you can hover over each scene card to see the details that should be included with each scene. And of course, you can add, move, or change the scene cards to incorporate the two templates into one storyline. So starter templates are a great way to give you guidance and information while you're plotting. And you can choose to add a starter template either from the dashboard, with a new file, or on a plot line of an existing file. And that concludes our overview of adding a starter template inside the timeline. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments below and give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for all our latest information and updates, and I'll see you in the next video.